Okay. Uh, leave. So, did a quick look up because I was beginning to think I was on the wrong side of the armory. Since there is no forest nearby, and I forgot to ask Rolo about the forest. And indeed, mushrooms, 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 mushrooms. Ooh, what? Floating infant red. This game has some very weird glitches. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, um, that side of the armory is for the shortcut. I need to go back to the far tower, which I can't really remember how I got there at all. Mm. I remember knocking Gar Garth out with the instructions, and if you and I went a little bit further, and there was the far tower. But how did I get there? Um, hmm. Good question. Okay. No, this is the entire opposite side of where I need to be. Ah, why does this so confuse me? layout is not like I imagine it to be it's something I just realized <laughs> Oh, 
this way. Why is it so confusing? Remember how to get Oh no 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 Ah why <laughs> Why can't I remember? Why can't I remember? It took me an eternity to get there. I know it was something stupid. Stupid. This is the... Yes! Yes, this is good. We can keep... We can take the... The... Control. done with it. I gave it to friends who did two mines in the holding cells. What have you gotten yourself caught up in Tylo? Tilo. I warned you not to trust them. They said the same about you. <laughs> well, I think you'd be taken for a fool. I want that spyglass, Tilo. You're going to get it back for me. going to say to them? I'm sure you'll think of something. <laughs> Do you ever sleep? Messages arrive and they will. That's why I bunk here, not down in the barracks. And it's quiet before dawn. I usually get a few hours in then. You must be lonely up here. I prefer the company of the scabs. Better conversation. I need to find some beetle eggs. That depends. What do you need them for? I'm making a tonic for a friend. She can't sleep. But don't expect many help if you're looking to eat them. Find them yourself. Oh. 
<laughs> I guess I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> Call after talk. It'll guide you to the Wow, look at that piece of something floating in the air. It's like a door. Hmm. Okay, so will you be happy if I do it here too? No. Okay then. Um. Beetle, I think. Turn around. No, wait, huh? Okay. 
okay, no, it was just a weird reflection. Ah. What was... Tower. Music. Traps. What? Is that a beehive? Why does it have a health bar? Picking mushrooms. Oh, no, 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 no.
kind of horrible looking, actually. <laughs> but hey. Holy baddies. Trap. Trap. That was weird. That's God. Oh, this is a long spiraling staircase. has a helmet too, so I really need to steal it when he's standing still. Okay then. This will take eons. Oh, it's here. Oh, that's good. Okay. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> so it's on the left side of it. Which probably makes it easier to steal from over there, but alrighty. Let's get looting. I think that's all. Mm -hmm. Is that 
banner floating in midair. I think it is. That's a banner floating in midair. <laughs> and uh, a ring floating midair? Oh. Finally found all 12 fate cards. Congratulations! What are you telling me for? Ha! <laughs> you don't really believe in all that rubbish, do you? What are you going? What are you doing? Wait until later when he's asleep and we'll talk. Oh. <laughs> the spyglass I gave you. I need it back. Why? Silas knows it was me that took it. I'm not sure how that's our problem. Ha! He's no tool on that, for sure. That rat wouldn't even remember he'd ever owned the spyglass if too long had taken it. He's that good! No prison can hold too long. He comes and goes as he pleases. It's said he once escaped Dwindling Heights disguised as Baron Osdrich himself. Oh, I should have pressed. Is the best. I'd love to meet him. Me too. I'd give anything, including that spyglass. Oh, I see. Baron Osdrig is the regional administrator of the former Mouselands of Meridia and one of the five members of the Council of the Red Paw. Osdrig rose to prominence some 40 years ago during the failed Sal Saltarian invasion when he successfully rallied the Red Guard following the disappearance of Roderick the last Red King and led them to victory. Songs of his exploits during the invasion have done much to bolster his renown. Born in Moridia, the Baron has historically been broadly symp sympathetic, sympathetic to the plight of the mouse population and an advocate of increased autonomy for the region. However, following recent unrest in northern Moridia, Osdrich was summoned to the capital for an emergency meeting of the five barons of the Red Paw. Under pressure to suppress this dissent and restore order, Osdrich's guards Began efforts to identify and arrest prominent figures in the emerging Meridian separatist movement known as the Sons of Aspar. Okay. is the work is incomplete. On a monograph by Faustus Rot. Chapter 1. Common Fungus. Ear cap. A broad green cap and orange stem distinguish this handsome mushroom. The ear cap flourishes on dead and rotting wood, the trunks of fallen trees, their stems and so on. Used in treatment for Fog eyes, stomach murmurs, doubt. Doubt. Cat's tooth, a rare mushroom, yellow in color and fluted in design. It's called. Oh no, not again. It's colo. Its informal name is derived from this distinctive shape. The cat's tooth may be found growing on or near rough hewn stonework, walls, archways, and etc. Used in treatments for droop ear and toothache. Spongebob. Amateur mycolo... Mycolo... Mic... 
archaeologists might initially have some difficulty identifying the specimen. Indeed, its red cap, accented in white, does nothing to evoke the imagery of its names. In fact, the sponge ball's name is derived from the large white spores it releases towards the summer's end. The sponge ball abounds around old cut stone steps, flagstones and the like, used in treatments for saltar poisoning. Why does Salter keep reminding me of Saracens? <laughs> Weeping Widow. The purple cap should serve as a warning to all that this highly toxic mushroom should not be consumed. And yet it holds some mysterious allure for drunken bucks, perhaps taking a shortcut home from the local inn through this clade or that tale. This specimen has truly earned its name. <laughs> Yes, be careful when you take a shortcut to mushrooms. The weeping willow blooms beneath bee nests, where natural sugars from his, the honeycombs infuse the ground. Natural sugars from the honeycomb. Used in treatments for <laughs> marital blitz. <laughs> Pussy boots. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Loggerhead. Log. Why does that sound familiar? Why? This specimen has a curious effect upon any who consume its flesh. The victor will quickly become argumentative and belligerent, attempting to fight any creature that might try and come to their aid. The loggerhead thrives all along cliff edges, used in treatments for cowardice and croup. Do I want to know? Doggerel, an unremarkable mushroom at first glance, the doggerel nevertheless possesses many properties of interest to the apothecarist. The doggerel endures in places never touched by the sun, used in treatments for a roving eye, a fickle heart, and <laughs> God. Milky cap. The flesh of this specimen is extremely poisonous, but when pressed and filtered, it produces a tasty fluid often used in the production of various cheeses. The milky cap grows predominantly around graves, used in treatments for pawpox and valiant fever. Noggin top. The noggin top, with its texture reminiscent of a rodent's brain, is perhaps the most alluring of all mushrooms. Is it? These mushrooms grow in abundance on the ground surrounding tree stumps, used in treatments for shyness and moor sickness. Chapter 2. Nocturnal Fungus I think you mean fungi. Moonlight's Velt A small white mushroom with a tall cap, Moonlight's Velt is one of four species native to the region that bloom only at night. This fung this fungus, the moonlight's felt, is commonly found growing beneath oak trees, used in treatments for ring tail Mel melancholy. Midnight brood. This specimen blooms only at night. Its dark cap and stem make the midnight brood especially challenging to collect. The midnight brood favors the acidic soils found under and around thorn bushes, used in treatments for lung rattle and tattletail. <laughs> Night rush. As its name suggests, the night rush only blooms during the hours of darkness. The night rush grows exclusively around the trunks of fallen trees, used in treatments for fog breath. <laughs> fog breath. No, that's that's a skill that lowers accuracy. In other game, yes, dizziness, reoccurring dreams. Mooncrest. These mooncrest and nitro share a genus and superficially appear to be much alike. However, the mooncrest is far rarer and greatly desired for its healing properties. The mooncrest prefers the warmth of fires, braziers, torches, and so forth. Used in treatments for envy, insomnia, loose tongue.
And if you can just run past him. <laughs> The music is gone, but... What? Oh my... The longer I play this game, the more weird I... Weirder and... Weirder... The more weirder, yes. <laughs> the more weird glitches I find. yet. You can see the time counting. Okay, I'll just wait a little bit longer. Let's look at these mushrooms. Oh, they're actually scab beetles, no wonder he was so... <clears throat> right. Holy berries. Beryllian holy berries are highly prized for their juice, which can be used to dye textiles a vibrant red. The berries themselves are, however, extremely poisonous if digested. Oh, if digested. <laughs> Great care must be taken when handling them. this one. Had it really been three whole years since Master Loon left? You'd worked hard and learned so much since then. How to read land, the winds, and the changing seasons, 
learning the uses for each crop, for food, for dyes and fabrics. And then you and Mera came of... Came... What? And then two you and Mera came a child. Just one. Rare for mice. And so thought of as a blessing. You named him Brin, the mouse word for seed. The minstrel's life seemed so distant then. And you were happy. Oh. So, oh seed, not acorn. My two courtyard maps. Ah, he's asleep. Oi! What are you up to? Here. The fate cards I found. Alright, that's all twelve. Now, give me a moment to unravel the threats of fate. A moment is exactly how long? Oi! Who's there? What do the fates say? Alive. You you're sure? I may lie, but the gods don't. She's between two fates, lost in the split of the deck. It's not clear. What do you mean? The fate's still undecided. But she's alive. I promise you. Oh, that's good. Hard to come by, I know. About the same as the last time you asked me that. That's fine. Why don't you tell me a story? Ah, uh, no. I'm not much of a storyteller. Do you want to tell me about this is keeping you awake? Well, it's nothing. Forget about it. I guess we should head back to Silos. I... F Did I forget again? How is that possible? Why is my memory so bad? I've just done that! I guess I could have gone to the...
allow me to save one more time. <laughs> 